Right, problem number five of section 2.7 uh, asks us to differentiate this function which involves you know, natural log, exponential, a couple of trig functions. Uh, so first step, let's just take this one step at a time, but first thing let's just try to actually simplify this a little bit. Uh, notice they have natural log of uh, exponential function which those are inverses of each other. So this whole thing is whole first part is just 2 pi theta uh, times, might as well expand this out, well, 2 sine squared theta plus cosine 2 theta. Now simplifying that will make our lives a lot easier in trying to figure out this derivative. Right, so q prime of theta, uh, we're going to have to use the product rule here, so we have you know, function times another function. So first we take the derivative of the first part, so the derivative of 2 pi theta with respect to theta is just 2 pi. And we leave the second part alone. So 2 sine squared theta plus cosine 2 theta. Right. And we want to add to this uh, the first part, so 2 pi theta. times the derivative of the second part. Now, uh, we have 2 sine squared theta, which is a notation that we commonly use for uh, sine of theta squared. Uh, so the square here is the same thing as you know, writing 2 times sine of theta squared, but it's a little bit more compact if we write it in this form. So we see that this is actually, uh, the first term in the second part of the product is actually a chain rule problem. So we multiply you know, 2 times uh, 2 bringing down the power will be 4. And we have sine of theta. Uh, sine of theta. And we bring down the exponent from 2 to 1. And in the second term, we again have a chain rule. We have cosine of uh, 2 theta. So first we just want to take, oh, and I did, forgot to apply the chain rule to the first part here. So we have uh, 2 times 2 sine theta bring down the power. Now we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which the derivative of sine of theta is cosine theta. Right, now we can move on to the second term, which says the, we need to find the derivative of cosine of 2 theta. So the derivative of cosine is minus sine. So we have minus sine, repeat, and then we'll repeat the inside function. And I'll multiply this by the derivative of the inside, which is 2. And end our parentheses. Now let's try to collect all this together and simplify a little bit. So here we have 4 pi sine squared theta plus 2 pi cosine 2 theta. And this will be plus 2 pi theta times 4 sine theta cosine theta, which becomes 8 pi theta times sine theta cosine theta. And minus uh, 2 minus 2 pi theta times uh, negative 2 sine 2 theta. So all this reduces down to 4 pi theta times sine of 2 pi. And that looks like that's about as far as, or about as simple as a form as we can get it in, so I'll leave it like that.